Hi guys, it's Miss Tanish One, and I am here to show you guys my new hair. Now obviously this is not my hair, so if you want to see how I made this unit, then stay tuned. Now I do have 4C hair, so I do want to let you guys know that it is possible to blend your 4C hair with a curlier hair type and have it still looking very natural. You just have to do the same thing every night and I do show you guys my nightly routine later in this video. I was sent three bundles of hair from Wow African Hair and the hair is Virgin Brazilian Water Wave in lengths 18, 20, and 22 inches. With virgin Brazilian hair, it does tend to come in a natural brown color, and my hair color is more of an off black, so I did dye the hair. I chose a brand by L'Oreal, and I am using a rich natural black. So this was my first time doing this entire process. What I did not know was that one pack of hair dye was not enough to dye three bundles. So I did run out, but I just went back to the store and purchased another box of hair dye. So right here, I'm just working the dye through. I really did love the color of the hair, the original color, which was a natural brown in the sunlight. Um, it did reflect many different browns and it was just beautiful. So I did leave the ends of this hair brown. And right here you can just see the difference of the hair color. That was the natural color and um, you can see the black that I dyed it. The next step in this process was selecting the correct wig cap. I did have trouble with this. Um, first I had a weaving net and I did not like that at all. So I went back and I got a men's dome cap to sew this unit on. This is how the unit looked after I sewed the first bundle which was the 22 inches on. If this is your first time making a unit, I would recommend drawing where you want to lay the tracks just so that you won't use too much hair in one place. And at this point, I have sold on most of the bundles. I have about seven or eight inches of hair left and I'm going to start laying the tracks down in the front. I did use the Ivy Powell method which consisted of laying the tracks vertical then horizontal to create a partless hairline. Next I sewed on my wig clips. The sewing needle that I used to weave the hair in was too large so I found my sewing kit and I used the needle from my sewing kit to sew the wig clips on. Don't try to use the thread from the sewing kit because the thread is way too thin. Just continue to use the weaving thread that you use all along. You do want to take your time sewing this on because I did poke myself. The sewing needle is much sharper than the weaving needle. All in all, I sewed on five wig clips. It is best to mark where you want to place the wig clips because I didn't do this at first and the placement of the wig clips were didn't have enough hair to secure the cap on so I did have to move them and you can see the green marking where I put the clips and the green marking that you see right here that is where I added another wig clip so I had five all together. Now on to the good part guys. This is where you see how I blend my hair. And I do have on my wig cap and my same cornrows from my previous sew-in. I wore that sew-in for about four or five weeks. So it was a little soon in my opinion to take it out. So I'm going to leave them in for another four weeks which will bring the total to nine weeks. Um, I'll list all the products below. I am use the, using the Argan Oil um, hairline with this hair. I am diffusing my hair because I do not like wet hair. In my opinion, it affects my leave out and then my leave out ends up wet or with moisture and it doesn't blend as well. My hair is extremely long in the front so I use the perm rods and I roll it pretty tight and from that point I wrap my hair around the weave hair to blend it in. The overall goal with wrapping my hair around the weave hair is just to disguise my hair a little bit and make this hair look as natural as possible. Hi.
Hi guys, so this is an initial review for a company called Wow African and um, I was sent hair to review and you guys um, already seen me um, dye this hair and sew it on a wig cap and I just showed you guys my blending technique. It blends pretty well um, for me having really kinky hair and for this being um, a really curly texture. I am trying my hand at um, wearing weaves for a little while. The first weave that I haven't had in, I really didn't like it that much, so I decided to accept their offer to do a review. I actually have had a really good experience with this company. So let me start off by saying that this is the Virgin Brazilian Water Wave Hair in a Natural Color. You guys did see me dye this hair. Um, I have an 18, 20, and 22 inches. The hair was very, very long. I did cut about two inches of the 22. It is giving a layered effect. Someone on Instagram told me that I should shape it, um, but I kind of like it like this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I know that I want to re-wear this hair, so I'm not going to do um, too much shaping or cutting with it. So back to this company, Lisa contacted me and um, I picked the hair that I wanted and I was immediately sent this hair the same day that I picked what I wanted. <laughs> So I got the hair in about three days. I was supposed to make a review within two weeks. Um, needless to say, I just, I, <laughs> by the time I dyed this hair, by the time I sewed it on, and like I said, this was my first time doing this whole process. I made a mistake sewing it on the first time. I didn't like the, the dome cap that I had, so I got another cap. Had to re-sew it on. But anyways, long story short, it's probably been about four weeks and I'm just um, able to do the review. But I really wanted this hair to look good, so I did take my time. I did sew it very nice. Um, I did dye it. So everything turned out pretty darn good. I mean, I just, I really don't have anything bad to say about this hair. I detangled this hair. I have barely any hair in my Denman brush. But once again, my track, I didn't cut the tracks. I only cut a few in the front. I have realized that that decreases the shedding process. I decided to put this hair on a cap because I like being able to get to my scalp and I wanted freedom in case I wanted to um, make another make another unit and uh, with maybe some straight hair or something like that. I'm not sure, but I did want the freedom. I did not want something sewn to my scalp again. That's why I chose to do it this way. As far as the company, this is initial review. I really don't have anything terrible to say at all about this company. The hair is very affordable. If you go to their website, wowafrican.com, and you click on um, bundle deals, they have a lot of amazing bundle deals. For example, if you wanted to buy the hair that I have in, you can get the three bundles that I got for $186. Like, you guys don't understand, like, how good of a deal that is for some freaking Brazilian virgin hair. Some of these companies are just, you know, I've, I've been wanting to do, like, these types of styles where you sew something on for a long time, but I did not want to pay freaking $500 for hair, so... Like I said, if you click on the bundle deals, you can get um, this hair. It's about $186 for three bundles in the same lengths that I have. Also, this company has um, a monthly deals going on to where you can win free hair. So you can win free hair by going to their website, which is wildafrican.com. You subscribe to their newsletter. You log into your Facebook, you like their page, you share this post on your timeline, you tell them the product that you want or that you're requesting and they'll pick one lucky girl and they will do this every single month. So if you want to get some free hair, then that would be a good way, you know, to try to win some. I am going to wear this hair for a few more weeks and I will come back with the final review. Here is one last look at this hair that I received from Wow African Hair. It is important to note that my hair is still a little damp, so my hair is not as full as it usually is. Three bundles is more than enough hair, and some of you may even be able to get away with two bundles. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if I do make another unit, I will do a full in-depth tutorial of my step-by-step -step in the weaving process and techniques that I use. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!